Hello everyone, uh, just making a short video uh, about the Venus transit of 2012 that I think it's a big hoax and the main reason for that is that the image uh, that are being given from the European Space Agency and from NASA uh, they have some issues there uh, the first one for me it's uh, just another CGI image uh, is come from the European Space Agency and uh, we can see that uh, when Venus is transit, the Sun doesn't have a straight path uh, as it crosses it. It goes up and down, up and down. Uh, and unless Venus is a jumpy planet, uh, according to what science tells us, it uh, shouldn't happen. So we go. Uh, just to check a bit uh, of the mathematics because this Venus transit was important uh, because it came um, to give us according to science the distance uh, between the Sun and the and Earth and uh, this is uh, how they the mathematics how they got this triangulation to find the distance probably you may want to make a pause and see if you can read a bit better of what involved on these mathematics. And Holly, uh, another Freemasonic uh, character. And this is kind of how they make the triangulation and found uh, the distance. Everything was alright. Till I come uh, and have a good look. Uh, or the Venus transits from the SDO point of view. This is a. Uh, I find it interesting this orbital uh, schematic of Venus, and uh, you can see according to them, it goes up and down, up and down, and uh, at some point uh, the uh, Venus makes this kind of passage between the Sun and Earth, and that's uh, how they can measure all these angles and found the distance. looks like a Luciferian thing. Now I understand why they call it the morning star and why it's so important for these Freemasonic people. Now this is now from uh, NASA SDO and uh, what I find interesting here uh, I think goes a bit against all we have been taught about what is a planet because a planet is not transparent and <laughs> as you can see here is transparent you can see the sun through venus so something is wrong either uh, venus is not a planet or all these images are fake i'm not so sure but uh, fake or transparent it really doesn't matter uh, what it matters is that uh, they said that according to this transit and uh, it was well recorded by several uh, institutions of science <laughs> if Venus is transparent it cannot be a, a planet it's just um, another light in the sky and they made us believe it was a planet uh, so if this is fake or real it doesn't matter what it matters is that what they say is the distance to the Sun because of this transit is also a hoax uh, it's fake uh, just make believe system that get us just to believe in an illusion that there is some planets orbiting the sun and that doesn't really match uh, with the reality we observe in uh, our day life that was just the point if we have a transparent planet it's not really a planet at all uh, think about and this is kind of uh, the image we have from the institutions that tells us Venus is a planet and uh, we orbit around the Sun which obviously it's a lie
everyone can uh, uh, see these same images on NASA site. This is the real images from there. slow motion I think uh, you know all these mathematics of the same distance are just rubbish uh, just to get their mathematic to be the real thing when it's just another fakery like the ASS the Hubble telescope the new horizons to Pluto that uh, was also a fake. So everything that these people tell us is reality. It's just another way to keep us on the illusion. Nothing else. Here you can see clearly. You can see the sun through Venus, and uh, you know it's not refraction or reflection. You are seeing through the planet of Venus. It's just a me transparent black disc crossing the sun nothing else and probably I would say this is not much bigger than 600 meters 700 meters uh, in total uh, and the planet cannot be that small or transparent and just again another view from the European Space Agency going up and down alright that was it thank you everyone uh, see you all soon bye